In this session, we are discussing how one dimensional array is getting represented inside the computer's memory. We know that in case of an array to hold the data, we shall have contiguous allocation of memory space for a one linear array. If you consider one dimensional array and let us suppose the array is having n number of locations starting index is 0 and the last index is n minus 1. So, for this n number of locations we are supposed to have consecutive memory space allocation for that array in the computer's memory. It is not always true that a data will be occupying one byte in the computer's memory because let us consider the data type float. So, it is occupying four bytes in the computer's memory. Let us consider the data type double which is occupying 8 bytes in the computer's memory. That means, one location of the array is not always one location of the memory. So, they are not corresponding each other in that way. So, what will happen? We should think about the width of each and every location inside the array because that width will be decided by the data type of the data which is going to be kept inside the array. So, let us come for the uh, this diagram where we have explained a lot. Let us suppose there is one linear array, the name of the array is LA, the name of the array is LA. So, that is the linear array. It, it is having uh, ranges ranging from 0 to 9. So, here the upper bound is equal to 9 and the lower bound is equal to 0. Upper bound is equal to 9 and the lower bound is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is my array index number and this is my memory address. Here for the sake of simplicity, we have considered that this particular data type of the data which is going to be stored inside the array is having a size of 4 bytes. So, w is equal to 4 that means width is equal to 4. And also we are considering that the starting base address of this array inside the computer's memory is 2000. I could have taken that, uh, that one as 7000 also, no issues. So, from 2000 to 2003, so 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, that means four locations, each location of the computer's memory is containing one byte of information. So, four locations means four bytes and that is corresponding to the index 0. So, it is getting terminated at 2003, so 2004 to 2007 then 2008 to 2011, then 2012 to 2015, in this way it will proceed. How many locations we are having? We are having 10 locations and how many bytes per location? 4 bytes. So, how many bytes for, the, for, the, for this full array? That is a 40 bytes. So, if we start from 2000, so the last location number will be 2039. So, it will be starting from 2036. In this way, we have drawn this one. So, they are denoting the memory address. Okay, now see. So, here the base address we have considered as 2000. Okay, now see what is happening. If we take k is equal to 3, if we take k is equal to 3, then the starting address will be 2012. Then the uh, starting address will be 2012. So, how am I getting it? lock of LK that is location of the linear array at the kth location will be nothing but base address plus k minus lower bound. Why k minus lower bound? Because here the lower bound is equal to 0. So, k minus lower bound means k, but sometimes this particular index can start from 1 also, can start from 1 also. In that case, what will happen? That means, location number 3 will become location number 4 in that case. Location number 3 will become location number 4. So, 4 minus 1 because the lower bound will become 1 in that case will be 3 back again into w that is the width. Okay, let me put the values, let me check. So, base address is 2000, I got it from here and if you consider k is equal to 3, if you consider k is equal to 3. Then k is equal to 3 minus lower bound I know it is 0 and w I know it is 4. So, that is my and obviously 
for this location number 3 or index 3 the starting address is 2012 and obviously it will get ended by 2015. In this way the memory representation of one dimensional array we have discussed. So, in this way one array will have its allocation in the computer's memory in a linear fashion and for each and every location of the array some bunch of locations will get occupied in the computer's memory depending upon the data type of the data going to be stored in the array. Thanks for watching this video.